Well, Simon, over the last few weeks and months, it's probably been fair to say there's been a few times we've seen County play well and not win games. So with that in mind on Tuesday, how nice was it to see us maybe not at our best, but come away with the three points? Uh, yeah, pleasing. I think, um, you know, although we might not have been at our best in the second half, I thought, um, you know, we had some pretty outstanding passages of play within that as well. I think the, um, you know, the goal, the potential um, goal through Paddy's chance, you know, that if that goes in, I'm not sure I'm not sure you get a better goal in the conference in terms of build up play. So really pleased with that. And there was signs of, you know, things clicking in aspects of the match, in moments of the match. But um yeah, it was a tricky game. You know, as I said on the night it was a really tricky game and you know there was times we had to dig in, we had to bounce back. You know, we go into a, a situation where we concede we concede that goal and perhaps, you know, the feedback from the lads was earlier in the year, perhaps that fizzles out to a draw. So it's really nice that they managed to kick straight back on, get back in the game and get the three points. So, you know, in terms of resilience and character, it was there to see. That's back-to-back -back wins now for the first time since you took over. Three wins in four. Is that just a sign now momentum starting to build at the right time this season? Hopefully, hopefully. Um, but we, um, we certainly won't be taking our half on the ball and thinking, you know, it's, it's naturally just going to come to us in terms of performance levels. You've got to work really hard and fight for that every week, every game. Um, so, you know, there was encouraging moments and there has been and it's really pleasing to get back to back wins. Um, and we've just got to build again now and go into the next one and take all of all of the good bits in them previous games that have helped get us the, the wins into the next one at Sutton. Obviously looking at team selection going from Solihull to Barnet, there was only one change and that was an enforced change because of John Rooney's injury. Is that a sign of maybe starting to get a more settled side now going forwards? Um, maybe. But, you know, I think we've got a good squad and I will call upon that squad. And sometimes it's, um, you know, you've got to adapt and play slightly different systems for different games, for different opponents. So, you know, I think continuity can be important and can be useful. But I'm also, you know, respectful of the players we have in the building and they're here. And, you know, at times I'll need to use all of them. So, you know... We'll just have to see how that one goes moving forward in terms of things settling down. But, you know, the one thing that is happening in the minute, whoever's coming in now in the team is showing absolute great commitment levels and they've got to be ready if called upon. Elliot Newby certainly showed that with his performance coming in from John Rooney and you must be really pleased to have that, that strength in depth at the minute. Yeah, I think it's important. I think um, the, um, the, the players that we, we have have got a level of adaptability about them and, uh, and that's great. But it is also nice that if we're going to, you know, if there are certain aspects of play that we want to be great at and want to be good at, and we think it helps us win games and we need, you know, if we lose one option, then we need another. You know, that's the, that's the stage we're at. So, yeah, really good that Elliot comes in because there's no doubt about it. There's big, there's big boots to fill with John Rooney. And um, it was nice that the team managed to, you know, deal with that aspect of losing such an important player and still get the three points. Speaking of John, obviously he missed the game because of his hamstring. Harry Cardwell picked up a knock in the first half as well. What, what's the latest on those two players? Yeah, ticking along. You know, we just have to assess that day by day with both of them in a minute. Harry picked up a knock the other day. Um, and, you know, John's got you know, not, not a serious issue, but one that we're going to be very cautious with. So, you know, we'll just have to wait and see whether they're available for Saturday. Some positive news on the injury front has been the sight of Macaulay Southern Hales back in training this week and that's a big boost to the team going forward, isn't it? Yeah, he's got a great energy about him. You know, he's really good to work with, as, as all the lads, you know, you must say. But yeah, really nice to see Macca in and around it. Um, you know, he's got, a, he's got a real natural enthusiasm for football and um, he's a good character to have around. So I know all the players are really enjoying having him back out on the grass with us. Obviously, a lot of focus this week has been on the signing of Paddy Madden, quite understandably, with the, the nature of the transfer. But Jack Stretton's come in, two games off the bench, two goals. Is he forcing his way into contention now under the radar a bit? Well, I, I think so. I think, um, you know, Jack showed in the two games that he's come off the bench that he's got a goal in him, um, which is brilliant. So it's that healthy level of competition within the group. You know, and, and Jack's another one, he's energetic, you know, he wants to get around, he wants to use his energy, he's a willing runner um, and he's also got quality to go with it. So I think naturally he's going to put himself in the frame and, and that's great news for me. Just looking ahead to Saturday, I mean, I know you're a big believer in the next game always being the biggest in your career, but when you look at the, the context of the league table, does this game on Saturday feel a little bit bigger than usual? Um, it, it, I guess really, look, it's... It's there to see that we are going away from home to the, the team that are top of the league. 
you know, and now will, you know, ultimately be the favourites to go up and win the title. I think that would be a fair thing to say at this stage of the season. Um, so really and truly, it's um, it's one we look forward to. You know, whether it's, you know, how whether it's a huge, huge game for us or not. You know, it what does matter is what our level of performance is going to be in these games. And, um, you know, what I do know is I've got a group of players that are really committed, that are, you know, are ready for any game. You know, whether we're playing a team that's struggling down the bottom or whether it's a team who are in a good place and probably favourites to go on and win it at the moment, then, you know, we'll be ready. That's what I can guarantee. I think a big factor of playing at Gander Green Lane for a lot of teams is, is the 3G pitch there. And for those that maybe don't know, what are the, the differences and challenges of going from playing on grass to the 3G surface? Um, well, I think it is different. I, I think there's no doubt about that. Perhaps the ball moves a little bit quicker with, with playing behind. Um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's probably a little bit quicker than what the grass pitches would be at this time of year. Um, so it is different and I think it's important that we, we just deal with what it is. It's not, it's, not, um, it's not something that's going to be an excuse. It's not something that we're worried about. It's not something we fear. So really and truly, it's the, it's the next set of circumstances you know, and it's no, for me, it's no different that, you know, you turn up in some pitches at Solihull, we play on a really, really, you know, true surface on the night for us. And, you know, perhaps at Eastleigh, we're going to a difficult surface. So this one's a 3G. So we've just got to adapt to what it is. Uh, just finally, when we played Sutton the last time, obviously that was very early on in your tenure, only your second game in charge. It, it was a difficult night for varying circumstances. But do you feel the team is in a better place now to go and take them on on Saturday? Well, I think we all, you know, have gained a greater understanding of each other. You know, the players have got to see a little bit of my methodology and how we want to work and, and embraced it. And, you know, I've got to understand the players in, in more depth. You know, you can watch a lot of videos and you can, you know, watch the games from afar. But actually, you don't truly get to know football players until you really work with them day in, day out. Conversations around the training ground, seeing them under pressure. You know, seeing them in, you know, in, in adverse moments and seeing them in successful moments. And that helps you formulate your opinion as a coach and a manager. So what I would say is our understanding of each other is, you know, probably two months down the line. And I think that is being reflected in the, the consistency of large aspects of the performances. Simon, thank you for your time. Pleasure.